So we are pretty good with that. We can keep that a couple of days. Mise en place, solid mise en place. We love it. All right, so we are going to cut to uh, cook this scallopini. So we don't have to worry much about the blood vessel and uh, the bloodline and the way it's going to be presented because we already took care of that, right? So we are going to put a, just a dash of uh, oil in our casserole here. Okay, thank you. All right, and uh, we put it down. It's going to be pretty quick, but the beauty of it is that all of them are going to cook exactly the same way because we control first, we control the thickness of them, so we don't have to guess it. After we have the timing for one, then we'll have the timing for all of them. Love it when it's simple. Love it, love it, love it. So the Trago brothers uh, were serving that with a sorrel sauce. So it was a beurre blanc base, and then they put the sorrel roe in it and just cook it like you would cook a spinach inside the sauce. And they become incredibly famous with this sauce. You know, you can borrow it now, it's fine. As long as you say that it's coming from Trago, you'll be fine. So I'm going to cook it not too, uh, not too much. I'm not going to cook it through because when you serve that on a warm plate, the plate itself is going to finish the cooking process hmm? if you have a warm plate. So, and you don't want the salmon overcooked. So when it leaves the kitchen, the salmon is almost sashimi. When it gets to the customer, it's cooked to perfection. All right. What do you think? It's right there. Huh? I think it's right there. Yeah. yeah, it's right there. Okay, so here we go. A scallopini of salmon, cook evenly all the way through, and you can make as many as you want. Mise en place, you keep them for a couple of days, and uh, you saute them, either a Teflon or a cast iron, and here it is.